Hello guys, so in this video, I am gonna talk about soft release buttons, okay? So um, I just recently bought those two red buttons on Amazon from a company called JJC. Uh, this is soft release button that's standard, which means it not only used for, only works for Leica cameras, um, it also works for any other camera that features a threaded shutter release mount, okay? So if you have one of those traditional shutter release button over here, um, you can use a soft release button. And I think to me, it's a no brainer. Anybody that have a traditional shutter release should get one of those soft release buttons because they make pressing your shutter much, much more easier, okay? And uh, also makes your composition uh, a breeze. And uh, my Leica, this is my Leica M42. It originally, when I bought it, used the cam with this little black soft release button which is, you know, it does serve its purpose. However, this soft release button is too protruding to the, to the outside and it's too big for my hand. I have a fairly small hand and I find this button just as big to a point that it's not pleasant for me to press, okay? That is why I went on Amazon and I found those soft release buttons from JGC. And again, I'm not paid by the company to say um, their product is good, but I'm simply making this video because I think people should buy the soft release button the moment you buy your film camera, okay? And uh, um, the biggest reason being, you know, not only soft release button looks good when you have a proper soft release button on your camera. And again, they are extremely easy to install. All you have to do, uh, screw this on your camera clockwise. It screws in clockwise and it stays in place like that. And it immediately enhances the appearance of your camera makes it look really, really nice and makes you want to shoot your camera, right? Uh, with this big obvious red button right here. And uh, so this one that I bought comes with two different shapes. So you can experience and play around and find which shape actually suits your hand because some people really prefers the one that actually curves towards outside and some really prefers the shape that curves towards inside. And uh, so I'm really glad I got this because then I find out that my preference is actually the button shape that actually curves uh, to the inside, okay? This fits my hand um, better and I find it more comfortable to just lay my hands right here, right in this little groove right here, okay? But again, you have options uh, when you buy this and it's extremely cheap. This, this set, I think it's less than $10. I bought this set for less than $10. It's a no-brainer. It, it really doesn't cost much, okay? And um, again, I mentioned the first reason is it looks extremely good. Second reason, um, this actually enhances the ergonomics of your camera's shutter release, okay? So when I got my Leica M2, which was my previous Leica camera, um, I actually did a review and I said, you know, I, one thing I don't like about Leicas is their shutter button is really hard to press when you actually have your hand um, in an awkward, awkward position, trying to press this shutter button. However, with the soft release, I actually don't have to put my hand fully on the shutter release. I can just rest it on the edge. And every time I need to press, I just do a light tap and it actually presses the shutter. So that's a major, major reason uh, that when I bought my M42, I went out and got a soft release. That made the shutter pressing just a much more a joy on this camera, okay? Otherwise, the original shutter um, it's not comfortable and I don't really like the feel of the um, the shutter release um, naked like this. It's not very comfortable and uh, it kind of feels just raw and unedited, if you know what I mean. Now with any of those, it instantly boosts the comfortness of pressing the shutter. So that's a second advantage uh, of a soft shutter release. And again, um, over here I have my Olympus on for Thai, which is a 35 millimeter SR film camera. As I mentioned earlier, those buttons, threaded buttons that looks like this shape, as long as your camera have a threaded, you know, shutter release button, you can use any of those soft release right here. Okay, so for example, I can quickly mount this on my OM4 and just instantly boost the modern look of this 35 millimeter film camera. Make it look really, really nice, right? So um, that's definitely the advantage of appearance, um, at least for this camera. And uh, um, the shutter release button on this camera is actually quite comfortable. So I have no complaint. 
and I can quickly reach to press the button over here. But with a soft release, you're gonna add color and uh, just make the camera even more enjoyable to shoot, okay? Um, the third reason being, uh, a lot of times, especially if you're a Leica, uh, if you have it sitting in your camera bag, it's very easy to have the camera bump into things. Now, if you look over here, the edge of this little brass uh, film rewind is already kind of chipped away uh, by using, you know, by daily use. Now, I don't want the shutter release edge to be chipped away as well. So the soft, soft release actually serves its purpose by actually protecting the edge of, you know, the shutter release mechanism right here. So it gives you a little more elevation. So it doesn't, it makes it less likely that you're going to bump into the edge of your actual shutter release mechanism. And instead you're going to bump into this little shutter re soft release button here. So that's the third reason that I think you should get a soft release for your camera. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's very cheap. Um, is it essential? Probably not. Um, but to me, I think it's essential for me to actually enjoy my Leica camera because it actually improved the ergonomics of the soft, uh, of the shutter press on my Leica camera. Make it uh, actually moving forward makes, makes me don't have to put my hand all the way on top of the shutter release to press the shutter. Now I can just put my hand in the front and just lightly tap and it's gonna release the shutter. Very, very easy and convenient, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, the company or the brand is JJC. They have different colors of the, of the shutter release, soft release. So you can choose one that fits you. Um, the one I had is the dark red color. They also have a red color available and a black color available. And I'm pretty sure there are many other different brands of shutter release out there. Some with custom um, like graphics on top as well. But again, I think red is the most basic, but the best looking shutter release button you can get. Soft release button. Uh, the black one with the leather cover, it, it, it kind of looks outdated to me. However, this one is actually quite well made. Uh, it's got a brass construction. So um, I'm just gonna keep this in, in case I'm selling my camera here. I might just put this on here to boost the value of the sale a little bit. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think you guys should definitely consider this set with two different distinctive shapes for you to try and find out which shape works for you and which shape to leave on your camera. So if you guys have any questions about the soft release buttons, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Um, one last thing I didn't mention is that uh, the JJC, uh, where is it? Um, I should have the washer of some sort. So this one actually came uh, with two little rubber washers. Do not use those on any other camera besides Fuji X series of cameras, okay? Those washers are designed only for Fuji X series of the camera because I think uh, those cameras had a weird um, thread design that the button really doesn't stay on there quite well compared to the traditional uh, design of other buttons. So make sure you don't use those uh, unless you have a Fuji X camera, which they did mention in the instruction right here, how to use the rubber ring, okay? Um, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or comments uh, about those soft release buttons from JJC, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. And I should have more similar contents coming out for you guys. Okay, so thanks again. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.